Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and today we're going to be working on Supernova from Dreamer Designs. It's quite a while since I was last with you, so thank you everybody for your messages of support and love. They were all very much appreciated. I am having a little test of sitting up again, so I'm feeling a little bit wobbly, a little bit shaky. <laughs> So I'm glad this one is around because as we know with the round diamonds they are a little bit more forgiving than the squares so it is a perfect one to continue with and where I left you last time we had really quite bad static in the drills and I put in little dry sheets in every little part so we can see how they've worked because it is about two to three weeks ago that that was done. Yes, it's been that long since I diamond painted, so I'm really excited to get back to this canvas. Now, obviously, being a little bit homebound as I was while I was recuperating, I've been having a little look on the internet and I did see a tip about the trays and putting a little bit of washi tape down the edge to help line up the drills really nicely. So I am going to test that today before we get going on the canvas. Just try it out. I've got my box. Remember I decorated this box and um, inside I've put my washi tapes. They don't quite fit with the lid on so I have had to squish them <laughs> down into sort of an oval shape to get the lid on. But this is where I'm keeping my collection of washi tapes that I've got from my Diamond Dark Club kits. And they are all lovely and I don't use washi tape normally for my diamond painting. So I'm going to choose one to go along here. And I do want a really cheery one. I think we could all do with a little bit of cheer. So I'm going to choose this nice bright floral one and it does sort of match in the colours of this Dreamer Designs canvas. So let's have a go. I've not done this before and it just looked like a little strip going across the bottom of the tray like this. And I do prefer a translucent tray because I find they don't seem to get as much static as the white ones, but I don't know if that's just me. <laughs> so, push it down. And I, I, it looks like it sort of creates a bit of a ridge. I will get a white tray and try it on a white one as well. Okay, here is a white Diamond Art Club tray. So let's have a little look at what I could put on here. Oh, I'm drawn to this one, although they are squares. So I think when the colors of drills in, it might confuse me. So not that one. Um, ooh, that's a pretty one, isn't it? Again, another floral. So, oh. Okay, so push the end up to the edge. Press down, roll it and push. Get my mahoosive pair of scissors that really are quite over the top for this job, but anyway. And push down, right. Okay, so now we have prepared our diamond painting trays with the washi tape in my beautiful jewel box. Let's see if it does the job. Right. Let's fold back the protective cover. Wow, they are so sticky. The Dreamer Design canvases are beautifully glossy with the glue. And I'm just going to fold that over this way because I'm going to work on this area here today. So I'll pop those there. Now, if you remember when I kitted up <laughs> all those weeks ago, I left these number stickers on. I don't normally go by numbers like this, but the, 
the little tubs already had those on so I left them on and then I got a little bit confused when I was doing this yellow down here when Anthea was over and we were working from Whitby. So I need to make sure that I keep my eye on the left hand symbols and ignore the white labels. So if you see me um, looking at the symbol and then picking out the colours, don't be distracted as I was with these white numbers. They don't relate to this kit. So I made it a little bit more confusing for myself by doing that. <laughs> Right, I've got my favourite diamond painting pen here. I've still got some of Abby's putty in and it still feels sticky-ish. I think I might just need a little top up. Now I bought this sweet peach flavour, I say flavour, scent, because we're not to eat it. <laughs> Oh, quite a while ago now, and I still have such a massive amount left. So I'm just going to pop a little bit more in the end. I think the multiplacer is still sticky enough. And I just jab it in and then I push the putty in. And believe you me, it lasts for ages, this stickiness. But the my top tip is to really push it in so that you try not to get any of the putty around the outside because then you tend to pick up more drills than are needed. So that is in. It will sink down as I place my diamonds as well. So of course, whilst I was off and a bit bored at home to be fair, I may well go into a bit more detail about what's been happening, but, you know, health reasons and blah, blah, blah. I did do a little bit more shopping with Abby, Abby's Diamond Putty, and so I did get some happy mail. <laughs> Ta-da! I'll just very quickly show you what I got, because... Oh, pow! An absolute pow of scent going on here. <laughs> right, get everything out. Oh, a cute little, that looks like a little sticker or a little picture. Very cute. And as you can see, since I bought my original version, Abby has rebranded and made it all very gorgeous with a lovely, lovely trading card. Thank you so much for your order. You've made my day. It means so much. I hope you enjoy your purchase. Follow me on Facebook. And I absolutely do. And Abby is really good at putting out news and information about what's coming out. She's a lovely lady. So do give her a go if you are into your diamond painting putties. And it does give you the reminder, although it smells tasty, do not eat the putty. <laughs> So I mustn't call it flavour, it is a scent. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder there, Abby. And we do get a how to use the putty leaflet. And look, it's so great, isn't it? So I find my putty works best in steel tips rather than the standard tips, but use whatever works best for you. And... Basically, place your diamond painting pen tip in the putty, press down hard and give it a good wiggle and lift up. Pull off any excess and place it back onto the unused putty because there's no wastage. Um, if you find your putty is too sticky at first, rub it on some fabric to reduce the stickiness. Warning, do not eat, another warning. And also Abby does do beeswax, which I've not yet tried. So that's that element. Um, one thing to say is with the putty, I don't use it for ABs because it doesn't take the coating off the AB, but I find it doesn't release very easily. So it is a bit of a battle. So I tend to stick with the pink waxes that we get with the kits for my ABs. So what scents did I get? I got four different packs and rhubarb and strawberry and they come in these self-seal packs to 
blocking the scent. And these ones are all sample sizes. Yep, Abby has decided to do sample sizes as well as the full size. And look at the amount you get in a sample size. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Oh, and you can smell rhubarb and strawberry in it. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Lovely, lovely. And when you do fill up your pen again, it just hits you with more scent. It's fabulous. The next flavour, I'm going to coat them, no spoilers. Black raspberry and vanilla. Black raspberry and vanilla. Again, a sample size. Oh, oh, oh. It is beautiful. Now I know that there are different scents in these to create different layers. I'm not sure if it does tell us. What I'll do, I will list the scents on screen for you so you know. There are other layers to the fragrances. It's beautiful. That is lovely. Panda Snacks, <laughs> a funny name, I know. And you think, well, what does Panda Snacks smell like? Well, let's see what I can pick out here. Again, a sample size. Ooh, it's quite floral. <gasps> hmm, I don't know if there's a rose in there. Oh, it's really hard for me to pick out the florals, but it's very florally. And I do have a plan for that scent because I have got a new diamond painting pen that that will really suit, which I will show at a later date. Out of this world is the next one. Ooh, now that, oh, I really wish you could smell these. Oh, it's really difficult for me to describe. I wish I'd got the list in front of me. It's really perfumey, not fruity, quite floral, but very different to panda snacks. Really, really lovely. <laughs> Sorry, my descriptions are not the greatest, but um, yes, yeah, so pleased with all of those and all so different and a really good size amount for a sample size there. Should I, I should compare perhaps the two for you. Out of this world. Is that size. And my original full size sweet peach. Bearing in mind I have nibbled off a bit of the edge of you can see here so it was probably more of an oval round shape there and that's the difference in sizes so I think the sample sizes are very generous so thank you Abby for that really oh gosh pow 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 with all of these different scents going on <laughs> And what I'm going to do, I am going to use these in different pens. So let me just quickly show you my box. Okay, here is my diamond pen container box. And lifting up the lid, that one normally sits there. So I've got my three chunky pens and my three thinner pens here. There is also a tray underneath. As you can see, I need to buy more pens. There, I have got other ones, but they're not actually in my box at the moment. So my thought was to put different scents into different pens. So for example, the floral one will probably go into my spring stream pen with the flowers on. I'm thinking, Oh, I'm not sure yet which one for the pine cones. Um, 
maybe the black cherry and vanilla. Yeah, I think that one would suit that one. I do have a rainbow pen, but if I'm, if not, this one could be out of this world with that design going on. I've got my sweet peach in my usual diamond painting pen. And I do have a new pen from Crafted Makes. I did buy it a little while ago and I haven't unwrapped it and used it yet. And it is so cute. So here, if you look really carefully, in fact, let me move my box. By the way, if you're looking for a Christmas gift for a diamond painter, you're not sure what sort of canvases they might like or what sort of putty, etc., then this is a really lovely idea for a Christmas gift. And I will put the Amazon link in the box below for you to find that easily. So here is my new pen <laughs> from Crafted Makes. I do like the fact that Crafted Makes give you the choice of the tips. So my favourite five placer steel tip and a claw placer that I got for a change. And if you look here, we've got all of these funny little characters running down. A bear, a pig, I think that's a tortoise, another pink bear, a tiger, a cat, a rabbit, a purple bear. Um, not sure what that one is. A frog, a bear, a pig, a tortoise, because it repeats going down all the way down the pen. What is that? I'm not sure. Look, a white bear face. Really, really cute. And although there isn't a panda, I am definitely going to be doing panda snacks in this diamond painting pen. <laughs> I thought it was so fun. Right, so this can now be put in my box. There we are, so this one can go next to him. And now you might be able to see the difference in the sizes of pens I've got as well, because these are the big two from Crafted Makes. This one is from Seplo Boato. And this one is from Crafted Makes and it's a smaller pen and I really like that size. I'm definitely going to be looking for another one in that size way as well. So there we are. I need that to work on today because we are now actually going to go and start diamond painting. Okay, so looking at the canvas, where should we start? Perhaps with the Y code down the side here. I've uh, got to remember how I kitted up. I think it was alphabetical. <laughs> now I'm going to try the white tray with this washi tape. See how we get on. Pour some of those out. As you can see, the dryer sheet is in there and it has been in a while, as I mentioned earlier. Give them a shake. It does look like they are still clumping together, which is a bit of a shame. But, yeah. So the washi tape, if you notice, lets you see the lines and the residue goes to the bottom. And it does work. I think had the drills not been so clumpy, it would have worked even better. But... I think it's such a great tip. So thank you to whoever posted this on Facebook. I wish I could remember your name because it is such a good idea. Diamond painting again at last, hurrah, hurrah. So why have I not been able to diamond paint for so long? Well, I'm not going into the nth detail about what's happened, but I have had some health issues to do with my gallbladder and it has created quite a lot of pain for me in the last few weeks. So much so that I've been unable to sit properly upright, hence why I've not diamond painted because 
trying to diamond paint reclined is really tricky. <laughs> um, and of course, trying to keep the pain at bay meant that I was taking painkillers and, you know, your head's not really in the right place when you're on strong painkillers. So that's what's been going on. I am still trying to get the problem sorted. I've had investigations. They know it's very, very attractive to know that I have sludge. <laughs> How glamorous. I have sludge in my gallbladder and bile duct and they are trying to work out the best way to get rid of it and get me back to normal. <laughs> or as normal as I can be. And um, so that's what's been happening. And I was in hospital for a little while. I did luckily have a couple of videos ready to upload, which I was able to do. And then when I ran out of those, I did put a notice out on the community tab and Instagram just to let you know that I hadn't disappeared. I was just going through something and I would be with you as soon as I can. So yesterday I had an appointment. I was supposed to have a procedure. And when I got there, because I've been sort of controlling the pain a bit and getting by, although it, to be honest, I've not been living as I normally live. I've been on the sofa, not daring to move in case the horrible pain came back. So they said, that my blood tests were normalizing and because I was managing without pain to give it a go and sit up more, try and go back to a my usual sort of lifestyle, which is difficult because I'm off work at the moment, hoping to get back to work very soon because I have been off longer than what I hope to be. Um, so I thought, okay, well, they've asked me to sit up a bit more and test it out. So I am going to do a video this morning. Hence why I'm now doing this chat with you, because I was just like, well, if I have to sit up and test the pain levels, I'm going to do a video and talk to all my friends out there because I have missed you so much. Now, those of you that I follow on Instagram, thank you so much for the posts that you keep putting up because I have been looking as and when I can. And I just feel a little bit out of the loop, everybody. That's the problem. I just feel like I'm, um, I'm not in with the in crowd. <laughs> I'm finding out what's going on. Uh, so do please leave me comments and let me know what you're working on. Let's have a catch up. I would, ooh, see, I'm a bit shaky still. I do apologize. And to be honest, these drills are still sticking a bit too much for my liking. Um, I think I might try the translucent tray, just in case that white tray has a bit of static. Sorry if you can't see it as well. So yes, do please. Leave me comments, let me know what's going on. I would love to hear from you. And thank you so much to all of my subscribers that have stuck with me, waiting patiently. Um, thank you. I am ever, ever, ever so grateful for all your messages, comments, subscribes, everything. I'm going to do number three, which is this beautiful peppermint greeny blue. Right, let's have a test on this one. Okay, well, they're still clumping a little bit, not as much. Look at this. Look how well that washi tape is doing there. Oh, I love that. Love it. Oh, it makes it so easy. And I don't know why. I don't know why this helps because it's not at the bottom. I think it's because the residue falls to the bottom out of the way of your lines. So it makes it more organized. And you know, I love a bit of organization. So 
Love. That's a win. <laughs> Finally, I have a use for washi tape in my diamond painting. Hurrah! Do you know what that means? I need more. <laughs> And I am recording this before the Black Friday deals. So, and I already have a, another kit to unbox for you. In fact, I think I have two more kits yet to unbox, which I've not been able to do. So stay with me, guys. I will get to them as soon as I can. I feel like I'm getting stronger every day. I'm able to record this whip and chat. Hurrah, getting back to normal or as normal as I can be. <laughs> but I tell you what, if you've ever had gallbladder issues, bile duct issues, wow, hats off to you. Oh, it's, it's really not pleasant. Um, thank goodness for what I call my magic strawberry juice, <laughs> which it, it, you sort of, oh, I, honestly, I was so relieved when I was in hospital and they were jabbing needles, taking all my bloods and things like that. When they asked if I wanted some morphine and I was in well, a lot of discomfort, let's put it that way. I said yes please thinking it might be another jab and then they brought this um, like oral syringe with this clear liquid in and I thought oh no this is going to be disgusting <laughs> and it tasted of strawberries not that I'm advocating any sort of you know drug taking at all because I am not but when you need it it was a pleasant experience having it as strawberry juice. And um, yeah, I was like, oh, thank you so much. And because I'd been nil by mouth for quite a while as well, it was like a pop of flavour. <laughs> and um, yeah, very, very thankful for it. Apart from, of course... <sighs> me being me, realising that it does make me feel quite nauseous. So then, yes, I was ending up throwing up as well. So at that point, it was a toss up between do I really need morphine? Because I would have to take anti-sickness tablets at the same time <laughs> to counteract it. <laughs> I mean, the glamour, the absolute glamour of it, not. I did have a little bit of jaundice, so I did look quite yellow. Wasn't able to put any makeup on. Was kept nil by mouth in the hospital. I was in for about four days and um, nil by mouth for every morning of that while they tried to work out what investigation to do next. <laughs> so yeah I lost a little bit of weight and just feeling generally raw so I wouldn't recommend it at all and if you've been through something similar you will know exactly but after a couple of courses of antibiotics and lots of fluids because that's another thing, they put the fluids on, on an IV. So every time I needed the loo, I had to walk, <laughs> walk the, um, the fluid with me. Yeah. And because I was being investigated and at that point they didn't really know what was going on with me. Um, they had done blood tests and the liver results were just very, very odd. Um, I was put on a broken bone ward. <laughs> so all the ladies on the ward were not able to really move about. They were broken ankles, broken femurs, etc. And of course, I was able to get up and wander, even though I was walking my IV. 
Um, so they were rather jealous, but I did help them as much as I could. I did help, you know, if they wanted their blinds closing or putting their light on or whatever, wanting to close the curtains around the bed and things like that. So I tried to be as helpful as I could to everybody. And what lovely people I was on the ward with. We were chatting, we were trying to have a little bit of a giggle and they were just such lovely women. I was on two different wards. I started off in um, another female ward and they were all sort of gastro type problems. And they were delightful too, really delightful. There was one lady who arrived after about two days of us chatting and things like that. And she was quite grumpy. I mean, when you're in pain, you do, you, you know, you, you're not really yourself. She was an older lady and she was obviously struggling. And <laughs> to be honest, um, I did have a little bit of a wicked giggle and, <laughs> but you know, sometimes you have to see the humor in things to just get you by, don't you? And so it was the middle of the night. And instead of just quietly buzzing for the nurse, who are amazing, the nurses are incredible, so patient, so amazing. And um, instead of just quietly buzzing for the nurse in the middle of the night, this lady decided she had to bang her water beaker, wake us all up, shouting for the nurse, you know, bang, 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 nurse, nurse, nurse. <laughs> And I'm not laughing, honestly, I feel a bit mean laughing, but she was screaming, saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, nurse, nurse, nurse. This went on for about five minutes and I just sort of did a little giggle to myself thinking I've never heard someone shout so loudly and not be able to breathe. <laughs> I know, very, very mean of me and yeah, bless her. So the next morning I did go over to her bed and check that she was okay and you know, she was fine, she was fine. I think she'd just had a bad night and was feeling a little bit fed up and she had an investigation the next day so I'm sure that was preying on her mind as well. So bless her. <laughs> um, and also in a little bit of state of not being yourself with the painkillers and things like that um, yeah it's it's normal isn't it of Oh dear, so when I was moved to the other ward, again, they were all lovely women. We were all chatting as much as we could between sleeps and naps and tests and all sorts, physios for them and all, all sorts of things going on. And that's the thing, they are so interesting, the hospitals, aren't they? And there was a lady who was quite deaf, who she did say, you know, I, ca I can't really hear a lot of what's going on so I'm not ignoring you, I'm just, I can hear what I can hear, but I can't catch the thread of everything. Um, and she, yeah, bless her, she um, kept talking to herself during the night and saying, oh, it's awful, it's awful, it's awful, as if she was talking to somebody else though. Um, and then another lady came in who didn't really, you know, she was new to the ward. She came in during the night. She heard this other lady mumbling, it's awful, it's awful, and talking to herself. And it sounded like she was also talking to somebody else as well. And so that lady thought she was talking to her. So that she started answering her back. <laughs> so it was like a conversation going on, but the other lady wasn't replying to her. She was just generally talking. And um, yeah, that, that made me smile a little bit as well. Oh dear. 
you can't really sleep that well in a hospital. There's too much going on. I mean, they were coming to me for, I mean, I had a blood test every day. So they were coming to me sometimes in the middle of the night to do these blood tests and things. So you're always woken up with blood pressure or tests or things going on around you. Um, so yeah, it does cause a little bit of not really being in the real world at times. But I have to say, when I was fed, it was really lovely food. The soup was fresh soup and they served it in a sort of a, a cup. Um, and it was absolutely delicious with a tiny little bread bun, like a real loaf, you know, like a mini loaf <laughs> bread bun. Really cute and very, very fresh food. I had salads quite a bit as well for tea because by tea time I, was, I would usually have a tea. Um, even if I missed out on my breakfast and my lunch, I was given tea. And I had a cheese salad once and it was beautiful with sweet corn and delicious things in it. Really tasty. So, yeah, very, very, very thankful to the hospital for looking after me so well, finding out what was wrong. And um, I ended up having an ultrasound whilst I was there and a MRI scan. So, yeah, that's where we are. And I'm hoping, hoping if today goes well, sitting up and I might have to try and do a little drive tomorrow because I've not driven my car either. Then, um, sorry, I'm looking for number seven to do these little bits here. Then I might just dr have a little drive around the block because I have been getting a little bit of motion sickness. So I need to be able to check that I can drive before I can agree to go back to work. But I really want to get back to it all. You know, I think it makes such a difference being able to get dressed helps, that makes a difference and, you know, get some makeup on. Luckily, the yellowing of my skin has gone. I did have um, a little bit of jaundice in my eyes as well and that's cleared. And I think that's with the antibiotics I was on and the fluids that they put in me. So that's good news. These drills are clumpy. Uh, so, I'm getting some lines though, so that's good. And it's not putting me off this Dreamer Designs canvas because as you can see, I can work around the clumps. It's not like they're sticking um, if I push the clump, they separate. So it's not like they are stuck forever. They're just... sort of wanting to nestle together, let's say. Ah, So maybe instead of calling it static, maybe we could just say that they're cuddly. <laughs> I've got cuddly drills. That sounds cuter, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, this canvas is lovely, isn't it? It is so delightful to work on with these gorgeous colours and um, with the black outline, it really does make the colours pop. And I am still in the first corner of this big canvas. It is a big one, this one. And I can't remember now how big, let me check. 120 by 60 centimetres, this canvas. So a lot to go at. This is my only big one that I've got going at the moment. I do have a small snack size one at work obviously not seen it for quite a while. When I go back, I'll take a photo of it for you to show you. 
square I'm up to with that one, but I do want to start a square as well. So I'm going to have to have a think about which one to get going with. Because um, I've got quite a few to choose from. <laughs> Uh, so yeah watch out for that because I will be starting a square as well whether that's from Diamond Art Club or a lower um, the one with the Diamond Art I've got some squares and I've never actually worked on one from them I have unboxed from them so it could be that one um, we'll see We'll see when I decide. But I do I do like it when I've got a round and a square on the go, I have to say, and a snack size. Or maybe even a special shape one for, I've got those beautiful Christmas kits to work on as well. Oh, I've just been dying, dying, dying to get back to it. So I'm so pleased. Right, J, I'm doing that line there of J's. Oh, it's an A, B. So I'll get my... Oh, no, then. It is a bit crusty in there. So I'll get some Dreamer Design wax. I'm just going to pull this bit of old wax out and we'll start afresh. So using my tweezers, just pop that in, slide it across and get that out. I find that the easiest way to get rid of the wax there. And I don't think there's any in there anyway. Okay. See, another use for these tweezers. Right, I'll just dip that into the pot like so. Perfect. Oh, it matches my pen as well. How fab. It's the little things. <laughs> right, just making sure this yeah, is good. And hooray, we're ready to do some ABs. And I know it's just a little line, but I have a feeling that all of that is AB as well. We will see in a minute. <gasps> Look how pretty they are. God, I love this idea of the washi tape. Okay, I want to do this little area here and here, and then we will go to the, what I think is those ABs there. Lovely. So R, 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 green. Hmm. Oh, clump. Cuddles, cuddly, cuddly drills again. <laughs> cuddly drills. Come on, you guys. Less canoodling. I'll be the party pooper and separate them like they are naughty teenagers at the disco. <laughs> and behave yourselves. Right, I've got these two lines. Where are they? Here. Another beautiful colour. didn't pick those up properly or those <laughs> right let's try and pick up a four Suzanne come on a three that'll do for there and there 
Okay, then we've got these E's here, because this is what happens, isn't it? <laughs> Start doing one little bit. So E is this colour, a limey, yellowy, cuddly colour. Well, considering that they've those dryer sheets have been in for so long, I'm a little bit disappointed with that. And the pots are only small, so... Hmm. Right, we'll do those arrows down. Here. Arrows down. Oh, a beautiful red. Oh, that's lovely. And just look how many different colours we've done in this little area. And they are all so gorgeous. Oh, gosh, it uplifts me so much. Oh, oh. I have to say, because I've not been able to sit upright I have been stitching let me quickly before I do these get my stitching to show you and this is only in the last week or so I've been able to do anything like this because I've been laid out on the sofa most of the time so I had done this area already and then I've done that part of my cross stitch and I'm loving it, I have to say. I am really loving having a counted cross stitch. And because it gets dark in this area at night, I'm able to do this at night on the sofa in front of the telly. So I'm going to continue working on here. And this is the cross stitch that I have got. It is called Four Seasons. And as you can see here, that bit is an owl, two trees that bit of holly there and then it works up into this corner and the four seasons go down the canvas and it's a lovely kit. I got this, I think it was from Shane and it is sold out, it is sold out but I have seen something similar on Amazon although it is a stamped kit not a white kit. So there we are. That's what I've been working on a little tiny bit whilst I could. So I may well contemplate um, doing a video on cross stitch as well, but I don't know yet. We'll see. I might start adding some in if you're interested in seeing the cross stitch I'm doing as well. Right. These are all twinkly ABs for the cloud here. How pretty. Oh, I didn't think there was going to be this many ABs in the cloud and I love it. Right, let's get these in. Oh, and then we'll be able to take a look from a distance and see the effect of what we've done today. Oh, I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels so uplifted with when you're diamond painting. It just gives me such a feeling of joy and happiness. I think it's something to do with the colours. I think it's something to see, of seeing it all come together so prettily and I don't know I, I just don't know I don't know if it's something I don't know I think it's the colours it's just such a wonderful craft to do and whereas the cross stitch is a blank sheet I love seeing the cross stitch emerging from blank um, canvases. It's just thrilling. 
Now with diamond painting, it's usually, not always, but usually printed on the canvas and then we're filling in the canvas with the diamonds, of course, to create the twinkle. It's similar, but it's not exactly the same. And it still gives such a thrill. So what is it about it? Is it the twinkle and the gloriness of the diamonds? Is it the colour? What is so addictive? <laughs> I have to say, I feel like I'm doing really well. I've definitely been sat here longer than I thought I'd be able to. And I'm able to look up and down, looking at the drills, placing them on the canvas without feeling nauseous. So today is an absolute win. It's an absolute win. And I am absolutely delighted oh, that I've been able to do it, everyone. I've been able to do it. Now, I'm going to say that as far as my videos go, I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to um, push myself too hard to begin with. I do have unboxings to do and I definitely do want to chat with you all again soon, but I'm going to have to pace myself. Um, so please do bear with me. And if I don't upload a video for a little while, then just know that I am still there in the background. I'm not going anywhere. I will be doing a video again as soon as I can. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. I can't wait to hear what you're working on as well. Have you discovered any other new tips like my washi tape tip? Have you got anything to share that you've heard about in the last few weeks because these tips are brilliant. When people think of different things like this and it works so well, it's amazing because we think by now we would know, you know, more or less everything about diamond painting. And then this happens and you're like, oh, what a great idea. So do let me know if you've got any other interesting things that you've found to help with your diamond painting. If you found any way other than dry your sheets in the freezer of getting rid of the cuddly drills, <laughs> making them all behave, then um, yeah, do let me know because I'm willing to try any new ideas for these drills as well. Although like I say, they're not stuck tight like I've had in the past. Um, from other diamond painting companies. It's just, you know, you know, I know if you're experienced diamond painters, you know what I mean. Oh, it's so pretty. I know um, a friend of mine, Anthea, mentioned that there are now, I don't know if it's a new thing, but it's the first I've heard of it, glow in the dark drills, but they are glow fairy dust. So they are black, but they have their coating, the sort of glittery part of it is the bit that glows in the dark. I don't know which kits they are on. I think it's a Diamond Art Club kit that she was talking about. Oh my goodness, that sounds incredible. Have you had a kit like that? And have you discovered the finish of it? Because I would love, love, love to see how that looks in the dark. I'm not sure what colour it gleams. But, oh, that would be amazing. So 
there are new things, aren't they? New products and things that we would have never thought about a few years ago. Amazing. Oh, this is so pretty. Sorry, I know I keep saying it's pretty, but it really is. I tell you what, Dreamer Designs have brought out some lovely images recently as well. I haven't yet splurged, <laughs> yet, um, because I have been trying to sort of be a little bit good, because I thought, you know, when you're on painkillers, you're not thinking properly, really, are you? <laughs> so I thought, I'm not going to fall into that really... You know, yes, I've treated myself to some putty and, you know, that's allowed, isn't it? There were sample sizes. <laughs> that was just a little pick-me-up treat. And of course, the scents that um, we smell around us really do have an impact on our well-being. So that is a really, 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 really good excuse. <laughs> My sister's really good at blending different um, scents. She used to do aromatherapy, like just as a hobby. And because, you know, if you've heard me talk about my sister before, she's like a wonder woman. She, you know, she writes books. She's a university lecturer and she has, she reads tarot. She's, you know, into all sorts of interesting things. And she used to blend her own oils for aromatherapy. And... She's actually making candles at the moment with all of the different aromatherapy type oils, really high quality. And she's doing a couple of Christmas markets where she's booked a stall with a friend and it's like um, a joint venture for them. And I just think that is beautiful. So I'm hoping if they've got any stock left over, I'm hoping I might get one for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very, very nice. And she's um, she's got all sorts of mixed um, mixed scents like Solace. Um, all of the names of them are really beautiful. Find your inner goddess and things like that. Oh, gorgeous. So yeah, if you're in York at the, at the Christmas markets, then you may well have seen my sister there on her candle stall. <laughs> right, ta-da! The ABs are in, the cloud is glittering and beautiful. So let's get these put back and we'll have a little view from further away. So here we have it. The area we've worked on today with those beautiful blues, greens and the AB cloud. And that is surrounded by the crescent moon that Anthea worked on in Whitby. I have done these areas here and there's still that bit to complete within the crescent moon as we move up the left hand side to where we also started in Whitby in this top corner here. So need to finish this part of the canvas as we move along. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots yet to complete. <laughs> a very big project and a beautiful, beautiful design. I hope that you agree. So thank you ever so much for joining me today. I do hope you enjoy your own diamond painting. Keep sparkling, everybody. Until next time, bye for now.